Entertainment Enterprises presents the sounds from the depths of hell to the edge of heaven mix volume one. So here we are, we've got the computer screen in front of us, and uh, what we need to do now is turn on the system. Now, I always recommend to turn the system on before you uh, initialize the software program. So another thing I recommend is that if you're a professional DJ, you should have a power conditioner, which protects all your equipment, and everything will be plugged into it. You can turn it all on by flipping one switch. Okay, so when you first start your CDJ 400s, first thing that's going to happen is they're going to be in CD mode. Okay, and you heard my CDs playing there. Push the USB button. Okay, now you're ready to initialize the program. So let's go over to the Scratch Live icon, double click on it. Okay, so first thing you see here is the, the two virtual players, one on the right, one on the left, look like little record players. Okay, if you have your box connected and it's connected properly, it'll show up like this. If the box is not connected properly, you're not gonna see any of these players. It's gonna be uh, the big square here with just the, uh, the library below it. Now, another thing, if you're first initializing, you're not gonna have any music in here. Serato is different than other programs where the music you have to actually put it in uh, to the program yourself build your own crates so since I've already done that we'll go to the white label now just a, a brief note here white label is uh, free promo software from the labels it's free and it's uh, legal to, uh, to download um, anyone can download these but the difference is is that if you're just using it to play in Winamp or uh, Windows Media Player it's only gonna be in 32 kilobytes so that's pretty lousy quality um, if you have a Serato box, it actually decodes it and uh, brings it back through some proprietary means uh, to the full 320 kilobytes. So it protects them from you know anyone just getting a hold of these free promo tracks or for DJs only. So okay, so what you need to do is first of all, let me just go, uh, do a brief uh, overview overview on how you uh, you put your your uh, your music in. You have to have an external hard drive first of all that's another thing I recommend you should always keep your DJ software on your internal drive and keep your music files videos karaoke anything like that on, a, on an external drive I've said it in several of my other videos and I really mean it uh, you're just asking for trouble if you're trying to run everything off of one hard drive now I know a lot of you guys say oh that's bullcrap I do it all the time hey well if it works for you that's fine but um, I'm just saying that it's better on your computer and it, you will avoid future problems if you try to keep your music on a separate hard drive. Okay, now what I do too is I keep all of my music in separate folders on that hard drive so I know how to find them, especially with Serato um, because then you'll be looking through your whole entire drive trying to find music that you want in Serato. So I keep them in individual files. Uh, and then all you do is you just find them, go into your hard drive, into computer, Let's go to I, that's where I keep all my music, Blue Dog Music here, and then you just take a, a, a folder, let's see, like uh, Hip Hop of course, that's really good for Serato. So then what you want to do is create a new uh, crate. Okay, I've got crate one listed over here, but what you do is you come down here to the plus sign, click it, see how it said crate two? Now you can right click on it, or just double click on it, and it allows you to name it. So I'm going to put Hip Hop. 2000 to present okay so uh, in there I've got a bunch of various different hip-hop and uh, so now we'll just open that back up and you drop it in here now it takes some time 
because uh, Serato's got a you know really good program. What what it does is it searches through all your files, it initializes them, and uh, builds overviews, BPM. I mean, it does all of that stuff. So it, it takes a while. The overview uh, and the BPMs are all uh, sorted and and uh, calculated with uh, programming that's inside of Scratch Live. Okay, so as you see here, the music all shows up now. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build overviews on all of this. It doesn't do it automatically. What you'll have to do is you'll have to shut down Serato, disconnect the USB drive from it so that your controllers aren't uh, activated, and uh, then you can build your overviews. But uh, that's more advanced. We're not going to get into that right now. Basically, what we're going to do is just show you how to get it started. And uh, so right now you've got songs in there. Uh, so let's just pick a song like uh, Area Codes. Okay, well the first thing that you have to do when you first initialize uh, the program is on the screen, on the little LED screen of your CDJ 400s, Serato, if it's connected correctly, Serato is asking you which deck do you want to assign CDJ 100A to and CDJ 100, um, so you change B to. Okay, so obviously we want the left one in my, in my uh, flight case here to match the left one over here. So. Use your push select button to find left and push it. So now that deck is initialized. Up here you want to push through and make sure it's internal. We're not using time codes. So you want to be able to have it play through. That's it. Okay, same thing on the right side on CDJB. Select, click on this one here, right side. Now it's on this side. Okay, so we're going to pick that song, Area Codes. All you do is you just move your dial until you find where you want it. Click on Area Codes. That's by pushing the same button that I just told you about on the CDJ. And there you go. Okay, so now you can build a, you can build your, or you can uh, create a cue point by hitting the big cue button. That's a temporary cue point. As you can see. And if you want it to be permanent within Serato Scratch Live, hit the little plus sign here. And that will be a permanent cue. Now you have up to five choices. You can put cue points throughout the song and Serato remembers it. So, okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mirror that same song. Now remember to hit the through button. It's in internal mode, you're good to go. Now back in the day when I used to use 1200s, I would uh, cue them up just slightly short of each other, kind of create that flanging effect and uh, like like a little bit of an echo. And I always thought that was kind of cool. A lot of you DJs are already familiar with all this stuff, so uh, keep in mind that this is mostly for beginners. Okay, so if you have any other questions regarding on how to use Serato Scratch Live with your CDJ 400, you can always leave a comment right on the front of my page or right down on the bottom of this box down here below the video, and I'll get to them if you have any other advanced questions or anything like that or, or anything regarding this uh, video that I didn't cover. You can always ask me, and I'll do my best to answer it. I want to thank all of my subscribers and friends. I'm nearing 100 subscribers and 500 friends. That's a, that's a milestone for me. I've had this account for two years, but I've only been doing videos for the last couple of months, so I think that's pretty good progress. So I want to thank all of my subscribers and friends. Thank you very much. And if you're not a subscriber and friend, please click the add button before you leave my page. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is DJ Rude. Peace. Keep spinning.